Before I start this look back, I kind of have to come clean with something. I don't really care about the grim adventures of Billy and Mandy. Now, that doesn't mean I say it's a bad show. No. I think it's still a good show. I think it's quite a decent show. It can be funny at times. The voice casting is excellent with the likes of Greg Eagles, Gray Delisle, Richard Horowitz, and many, many other voice acting veterans as well. But it never grew on me. I didn't really care for a lot of the characters. I didn't really care for the likes of Billy because he was just too freaking stupid. Mandy because she was just too much of a condescending bitch. Erwin, well, there were times that he kind of grated on me. Spurg was just not really that great of a character. He just seemed so one-dimensional. But the only character I ever seemed to like in this show was Grimm because he kind of had a personality. He was quite the deadpan snarker and... Sure, he can be goofy at times, but I don't know. He just seemed to be the only likable character by default. But I also like H Host Delgado as well. He's another great character in the show. So with that said, I'm here to take a look back on what has to be probably one of my most favorite episode of the show and probably a really good Christmas special as well. And that is, of course... Billy and Mandy Save Christmas. Now, I also caught this, well, this was basically yet another Christmas special I caught back when I was vacationing in L.A. Yeah, there is definitely a certain trend going on here. So, yeah, when I first caught this at age 13, I absolutely enjoyed it. I liked it for its really interesting tone and just how everything seem to really be quite unique compared to a lot of the other Christmas specials talking about Santa Claus because in this version, well, we see that Mrs. Claus was a vampire and Santa Claus did turn into a vampire. So basically everyone in Christmas Town has been vampirized, so to say, which made it all the more enjoyable and it was just quite fun at the time. And it's probably no wonder that I really, really, really liked this episode, even though I don't really care too much about the grim adventures of Billy and Mandy, even though it can be a decent show from time to time. But this is pretty much the show at its best and even at its most creative. And I definitely have to give credit to Maxwell Adams for putting such effort into this and even to the rest of his team to really put up with something that's with that's great and even put up with something that has well really great potential and here it was it was definitely the best episode by default in terms of the grim adventures of billy and mandy so surprisingly this christmas special really managed to blow all of the billy and mandy episodes out of the water and that's actually saying something for a show I may not care too much about. But when episodes like this happen, it just leaves me leave me having a huge smile on my face. Not to mention, the characters do prove themselves to be quite kick-ass as well. However, there are also some things that are kind of surreal. Like casting Gilbert Gottfried as Santa Claus was pretty weird, in my opinion, I know for others it might feel pretty weird that you have this high-pitched, um, stringent-sounding voice voicing Father Christmas because you'd usually associate Santa Claus or Father Christmas with a deeper, more basso, baritone-like voice. But here we just have a screeching, stringent voice voicing Santa who was basically well-known for voicing Yago from Aladdin. Kind of surreal, but this did not really downgrade everything. It instead was quite an interesting step. So overall, I have to say that looking back at this Christmas special, even though I may not care too much about the grim adventures of Billy and Mandy, there was this Christmas special that managed to be quite entertaining and just a lot of fun. Well, that's all for this and Tune in later for yet another Christmas look back. So until then, see you later, everybody.